The most basic form of optimization we call SKU optimization, and it's the first strategy inside of the PPC Entourage Blueprint series. And SKU optimization is really, really simple. You're basically looking at the SKUs that are inside of your campaign to determine whether or not those SKUs are profitable or not, and whether or not you want to pause a particular SKU. On PPC Entourage, we have the ability to see the SKUs that are not performing well highlighted in a red color over here. So this correlates to the ACOS profit zone, which is over here. If I were to change this particular number, let's make this 100, then this one over here is below that threshold. So in this case, if you wanted to go ahead and pause this particular SKU, you would have to do it um, inside of the ad group, right? Because here are all the different ad groups that these SKUs could be in. So I'm going to click on the second ad group over here. And in this ad group, they are performing a little bit differently. One has no sales, right? Uh, zero ACOS, which means it has $2.33 in ad spend and zero ACOS. And this one has a nice uh, ACOS of 18.25%. So I'm going to keep this one on. And just to demonstrate, what I'm going to do here is just pause this here. Now this is syncing with Amazon and it's going to be paused inside of Seller Central. All right, so the second strategy is called New Bid. And New Bid is basically a way to try and reduce your average cost per click so that the ACOS for a particular keyword is profitable. And let me show you by example here. Here we have an example of a keyword, two nail clippers, right? And our keyword bid is set to 70 cents. Now our software is suggesting a lower bid price and I'll show you why. The average cost per click here is 61 cents and we've achieved 11 clicks at that 61 cents. However, we're not profitable for this keyword. The ACOS for this keyword is 66.7%. So we want to try to align this ACOS with the ACOS profit zone and get it down to 40%. And the only way to do that is to use a new bid price. Using a new bid price will allow us to attempt to get cheaper clicks and reduce the average cost per click. So now you'll notice that our software does not make recommendations unless it has at least 10 clicks. Now we have other strategies to optimize if it does not have 10 clicks, but for new bid, you must have at least 10 clicks. Also, you can use this for both profitable keywords and non-profitable keywords. As you can see, it's broken down over here. The profitable keywords over here, non-profitable keywords over here, and then the different ad groups that those keywords are in are over here. As you can see, we are on the in the uh, third ad group. So to adjust the bid price inside of PPC Entourage, you would simply look at the new bid, and then you would just uh, you know put it over here and click save. And now that is synchronizing with Amazon. And the next time you come back, the bid price will be updated and inside of Amazon Seller Central. All right, so strategy number three is keyword optimizer, and this is my favorite strategy by far. So we're gonna find the search terms that are performing well, and then we're also gonna find the, the search terms that are performing poorly for this specific keyword, and then do a negative exact on the ones that are performing poorly for this specific keyword. Let me show you guys how to do it. So you're gonna click on the, the keyword here, and as you can see, if you click on a keyword, the unprofitable search terms are going to show below. So now these are all of the search terms that are connected to the keyword two nail clippers that have had uh, uh, clicks but no sales, right? And here's the ad spend. Now keep in mind that this is a test account, so we do, do not have a lot of data on this account. But if I was spending hundreds or thousands of dollars a month on ad spend, there would be a lot more clicks over here and these buckets would be really filled out. But let me explain to you what these buckets are all about. So we have a search term that's connected to this keyword, two nail clippers, that has one click and $1.17 in ad spend. And all of these little clicks without a sale with ad spend, they're like little paper cuts that's really draining your bank account. All right, and you're gonna to come to this module over here and see that some of these keywords are producing dozens, dozens if not hundreds of search terms that have clicks 
but no sales. And some of those search terms have hundreds of clicks. So the strategy here is to get rid of the worst offenders, right? And if it only has one click, then go ahead and ask yourself, is this something that's related to my product? Is it something that I really want to get visibility for? Maybe it's a competitor and it's really not something that you want to uh, waste any more money on. But um, go through the list and then you're going to you're going to do a negative exact, which you can do straight from Entourage. You're going to send this over to um, Seller Central as a negative exact, and this way you won't get any more visibility for that particular search term related to this keyword. Now on this side over here, we have unprofitable search terms based on ACOS. So I wouldn't turn this off or do a negative exact on this one, but it you can see some search terms that are getting sales, but they're unprofitable sales, and they're going to show up in this bucket. The bucket over to the right are going to be the search terms that are really draining your CTR percentage. And keeping a good CTR percentage is important. So all of the search terms that have more than 1,000 impressions and less than a 0.4 CTR percentage are going to show over here. You'll also be able to see um, how many clicks it has. This way you can do a negative exact on those and direct traffic to the search terms that are making the most amount of money. Now, when you click on search term optimization, you're going to by default go to non-profitable search terms and all of the different ad groups are going to show up right over here. Now, all of these search terms are listed based on your ACOS profit zone. So it's only going to be listed as a non-profitable search term if it's got either if it's a, either above your ACOS profit zone or it's got a lot of clicks and ad spend and no sales. That's what will be listed over here. As always, we recommend going back as far as possible when doing your initial optimizations so you get the most amount of data possible. Now take a look at this button right over here. This is the search terms only button. Now we have this checked off because we will optimize keywords differently from search terms. So search term optimization is only going to show you the search terms that have resulted from the keywords. So if you wanted to optimize on a keyword level, you would use keyword new bid and keyword optimizer. If you wanted to optimize on a search term level by optimizing out these search terms that are leading to lots of clicks without sales, you would keep this checked off like it is now and then optimize on a search term level. All right, the fifth and final strategy is negative word finder. And this again is like pressing the easy button. I absolutely love this strategy. And it came about from one of our beta testers who, who noticed that the word jumbo was causing him to lose a lot of money. Every time the word jumbo came up in any one of his search terms, he was, he was losing a lot of money. And he wanted a way to find out the individual words that when we're connected to a search term and somebody searched for it, they typically lost money on that word. And negative word finder is a way to do that. So basically in negative word finder, you're gonna see that we are in all of the ad groups and then all of the individual words here that are associated with unprofitable clicks are gonna show up right over here. Now some of these will have sales and some of them won't have sales. So it's really going to be up to you to look at the word and ask yourself, is this word connected to my product? And if it is, is it worth keeping based on the data? Um, you know, sometimes it'll be very straightforward. It'll be easy to tell. Other times you'll have to make a, a decision whether or not you want to keep the word or not based on the data. So as you can see over here, the word set has 12 unprofitable clicks. Uh, we're not going to look at this here, but the word uh, set has 12 unprofitable clicks, no revenue, and $9.79 in wasted ad spend. So that would be something that I would consider doing a negative phrase. Now the strategy here is to do a negative phrase because then I'm saying in no way, shape, or form do I want visibility for the word set. So if somebody goes on Amazon and puts anything, any phrase in with the word set, we will no longer get visibility if we do a negative phrase.